Hello and welcome to The Shooting Show. On this week's episode, we have a rabbiting bonanza. Leon Davis joins Warwickshire Wild Game to hopefully bag some rabbits for the pot. But first we join Mark Ripley as he heads out with his trusty 2-2 to hopefully get some of his own. Right, well, this evening it is a lovely evening, lovely sunny evening, it's not too windy, perfect weather for shooting a few rabbits. So I've come out to one of my favourite farms with uh, a little um, CZ22, and on top of that, I have got the Pulsar Duo. So I'm going to be uh, having a little go with that, and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to get it zeroed on the rifle, because I haven't had a chance to do that yet, and then take it out and see if we can get a couple of rabbits before it gets dark, and then go on after dark and hopefully bag a few. I've also got the Pulsar Merger thermal binoculars with me and I'm uh, loading up the rifle here with Winchester 42 grain subsonics. So these are the Winchester X bullets. So I've put a cardboard box out there with a foot warmer stuck to it and uh, I'll initially I'll get the, uh, the rifle onto the target at about 25 metres and then I'll work back to about 50 metres where I'll uh, zero it and have that as my, my set zero. So a little bit of uh, mud and spit moulded together <laughs> makes quite a good um, little marker that you can push into the bullet hole like that so you can see where your last shot went. But as you can see from this target, um, it's taken me about four or five shots there but I managed to get it on target so we're roughly near the centre of that. So I'll leave that in there so it makes it a bit easier to see which bullet holes are which and uh, I'll go back to 50 metres and have another shot. Right, so that's the duo zeroed on the 2-2. And as you can see, we've very quickly lost the light. Um, my fault, I'm afraid, I've got chatting to the farmer and uh, bosh, the light's gone. But um, we'll just go straight out, I think, and we'll go straight into the uh, thermal mode and just make the most of it. So apologies for not getting you some day footage and that through it there. Um, hopefully I managed to record a couple of little bits there just in the uh, color mode when I was zeroing but um, it doesn't really uh, help a lot. So I'll try and get out in the morning and get a bit of footage as well, just to overlay over this. Anyway, let's go out and find a few bunnies. So I've just stopped on the track here because there's a couple of rabbits, one on the hedgerow, and there's another one further up, just near the hedge here, just near some bushes. So um, one down the bottom here is 95 metres, so I'll get a crack at that. Thank you. 
Excellent. So I don't know if the microphone or the camera could pick that up there, but I had one down there that was 95 meters, that went straight over, and then there was another one, 75 meters, and um, I just shot that one too. So both went down, both nice clean kills. So brilliant start to the uh, evening out with the pulsar. I've had a little bit of a change of plan. I've decided to drop down into the bowl. I just shot them a couple of rabbits off the top there. Um, reason being, firstly I thought, well, there's bound to be a uh, badger or two in this valley or a fox that might come along and hoover them up. So I thought I'd better come down and get them. But um, also there's quite a few rabbits along the, uh, the bottom of this wood here. So I'll have a little walk along there and see if I'll knock one or two of them over. And there's also one or two just coming out of the cover crop back up there as well so that might be worth a look in a minute Just a couple more headed to the bag. I think we're up to uh, five now, I think. So not too bad a start. Top the magazine up. They're brilliant little rifles, these little CZs. They're so accurate. Cheap little guns too, for what they are. This one's the uh, CZ452 American. Uh, it's a left handed one as well because I'm cack handed, a disabled shooter. So if you're not familiar with exactly what the Pulsar Duo rifle scope actually is, well essentially it is a thermal rifle scope and it also incorporates this little box on the top here which houses a little digital colour camera. So you can actually use it as standard thermal rifle scope or you can use it as a colour day image. 
so uh, you can also combine the two so you could have in the picture in picture box you could have thermal and in the main screen you could have color or uh, vice versa so essentially it gives you the best of both worlds it gives you kind of like a not a, a standard optic but it's a, a digital image of one a bit like um, the uh, the C50 so you've got that color picture in fact it's much the same sort of technology I'd imagine um, gives you a very similar image quality so you've got that and then you've got the thermal capabilities as well so it's an ideal sort of uh, scope for deer stalkers and that they maybe want to assess a trophy buck in colour or something and then also have the advantage of being able to put, pick deer out in woodland and stuff using the thermal um, but of course you can use it for absolutely anything foxing, rabbiting, whatever you like, ratting so uh, yeah but there you go that's basically what the what the kit's all about right so let's uh, go and look for a few more bunnies Temperature's dropped a little bit.
that's another three mil. They were about, uh, there was a couple there, one was about 40 yards and then one was uh, 67 I think it was and I think actually two were about 67, 70, 70 metres. So, right, hop over and uh, get them. Right, well that's another eight added to the bag there. Um, but yeah, not too bad for a little look-see round. There's not an awful lot of rabbits on there, but there's just a few little pockets of them, so that's given them a little bit of a thin out. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Next, we're with the team from Warwickshire Wild Game. With, unfortunately, some unsuccessful outings, Leon Davis joins up with Stuart Ebrell in hope of nabbing themselves some rabbits for their potato rosti a la king. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Stuart Everill from Warwickshire Wild Game. And I'm Leon Chalice Davis. Welcome to the shooting show. Um, this evening we are on a farm uh, that I look after pretty much everything on, do the deer, do the deer stalking, all their pest control. Um, it's coincided really well with Leon being up. Um, farmer gave me a shout the other day, seeing excessive numbers of rabbits. Uh, we do try and keep on top of them, but they, they've just had a really good time of it breeding this year, um, which is great news for me because we've got a lot of orders coming through Warwickshire Wild Game at the minute for rabbit. Brilliant. Um, I think it, before it used to be a bit of a sticky thing, um, but more and more people now are getting into game and seeing the benefits, the health, the health benefits that come from it. I mean, Sustainable side yeah, of it as well. You yeah. know all about it, mate. I don't, I don't have to tell you. Um, so yeah, we're going to get out. Uh, we've got the thermal on the two two. Um, we'll get out and see if we shoot shoot a truck full of rabbits. Brilliant. Looking forward to it. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's get out there. Still there, mate. Shoot again. Good work, mate. Alright, mate, it's still there. Shoot it again. Dig. <laughs> All right, it's uh, it's gone. Leon's had that many shots. We we'll have to reload the mag. It's only got one rabbit. <laughs> A few few misses. The average is a lot. We're shooting on a big day in Wales. <laughs> we'll get to it. Don't worry. Have some breakfast for the morning. <laughs> Good job on my diet. <laughs> Half a loin <lawyer> each. <laughs> yeah, go on there, mate. Good work, mate. Nice shot. Well, we finally got there. We had a, we had a few misses, didn't we? I don't think it's going to particularly help my orders, <laughs> but uh, we've got enough for uh, for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, 
I don't think rabbit shooting is your thing, mate, if I'm honest. <laughs> but we got there, we got we got a handful, um, so good job done. Just kept them off feeding for another night, helping the farmer, so um, every effort's a good effort. Yeah, no, uh, really nice condition. Really good condition, yeah, really looks good fantastic. Condition. Just get the... Yeah, just, just explain what you're doing here. I mean, it's... It's empty in the bladder. Yeah. Just, uh, so when we... When we uh, gut it, it's just you don't pop pop the bladder and it ends up, you know, taint the taste of the meat. And it's those little things that I'm pointing out because not very many people know about it, and yeah, I mean, certainly it's... chefs as well. You know, when you're when you're talking about it, it's nice to know that that those things are being done. Yeah, I um, mean, it's we take it for granted, I suppose. You know, growing up as a kid, uh, you know, it's kind of bread and butter I've doing it, been doing this for for a long time so that yeah like you say you take, I take it for granted a little bit that people don't people don't you know know to do that yeah um, I noticed it straight away when we're doing it it's, it's something I did with with my granddad and for years and, and you know that it's uh it's fantastic we're we're 25 minutes half an hour away from the chiller so what we're gonna do now is just quickly gut these yeah um we're gonna leave the the heart and lungs in we're just going to take the take the stomach out fantastic so we're just trying to keep everything as as small as possible so just a small little incision in to get you inside that stomach wall there we are straight out fingers in grab everything you can and then reach back and there we go Quite simple, quick process to do. Fingers in. And everything out. There we've got small holes, left contamination. And when we get back to the truck, we'll go in the clean tray and we'll be in the chiller in half an hour's time. Fantastic. Brilliant. Stu, we went out last night. It was bloody freezing. It's cold this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's first thing in the morning, the sun's coming up. Um, we've got our rabbits. Stu, you've, you've stripped them down for me um, to what we need. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna start on, uh, we're gonna start on making a bit of breakfast. I'm absolutely starving. Yeah. We had a few um, beers last night. So it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of worked out quite well, really, yeah. hasn't it? <laughs> I don't know, we're Definitely quite... feel like I need something wholesome, mate. Yeah, um, so the, the, what I'm going to do today, um, we're gonna, we've got a couple of potatoes, you've got the rabbit, um, we've got some eggs, uh, some wild mushroom, shallot, parsley, um, and we're going to do um, potato rosti. Um, we're going to do, using the uh, loins from the rabbit, we'll save the legs for another day. I think comfy in rabbit legs is always the best way or or braising them you, you the meat falls off the bone but the loin should be treated with a little bit of uh care in as a chef you kind of you just you only sort of flash fry it pan fry it you want a really nice um uh really nice bit of meat there so it's very tender anyway um and then we're going to put it together we're going to drop a white wine a little bit of cream um i'm going to go a bit ott keep it a bit this time of the year with a few truffles on top as well um, and that should be breakfast sorted for us, really. Very nice. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. That's a good sound. That is a good sound. You want to be able to crisp it up and able to flip it um, without it all falling apart. Yeah, 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 we're not far off. Eggs need a few more minutes. Finish that off with a little bit of parsley, so that will cut through. The, the, the creaminess, we've got a couple of eggs going on there as well. And do you know what I like the most about it is the caramelization around the edge of the pan. Oh, smells absolutely fantastic. That is amazing. We're gonna tuck into this. Bit of presentation now. To so Stuart, here we go. So I've just thrown in a bit of parsley on top. Got a beautiful rabbit, mushrooms. We've got the rosti potato. Um, and it's, again, it's the way I eat. You, you just gotta get involved and, and really sort of just a beautiful cream to go with it. 
trying to do presentation as nice as possible. <laughs> but rustic, rustic, rustic. Exactly that. Um, just going to drain off our eggs. Um, so some of you'll see is a slightly, um, slightly discoloured. That's because I've used a beetroot vinegar in with the water. Um, I just thought it'd give it a little bit of extra flavour. It's a root vegetable. It eats this time of the year. It eats well with rabbit. Look, we're just launching them on top. Those eggs. They go a bit fancy. Chop up a bit of parsley over the top. <laughs> the wind has taken it all away. We lost a piece, have we? Here we go, mate. That rabbit is beautiful. We've got the mushrooms and a bit of homemade truffle oil over the top and a few slices of fresh truffle. Stu, we're, we're, we're ready. <laughs> we're both ready for it. Um, I mean, look, we've got rosty potato don't 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 be shy mate get get stuck in um i'll cut up a bit of the rosty for you as well um and yeah it's just a case of getting uh really getting in there mm. that is. could have done with some salt <laughs> i don't know mate. Well, a super easy and delicious breakfast there, as you can see. Sadly, that's all we've got time for on this week's episode of The Shooting Show. If you're not a member of Bass, make sure you join. And if you've liked what you've seen, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. My name's been Chris Castle, and this is The Shooting Show. If you aren't a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.